everyone, welcome back to another cut above with Chris. Going for another head shave, head shave, another Chevette shave today. Using again the Parasso, I've still got the Rapira Platinum Lux second half of the blade on its second use now. And then we'll bin it and we'll move on to a different blade. I have become a little bit more proficient with it. Still not my thing, but we'll see how we go. If I can master this thing a little bit, I'll get better with it. Then I think a straight race is going to be super easy for me from what I hear. Right, the soap today, or the cream for today, is Bluebeard Revenge Shaving Cream. I just love the scent of it. To me, it's what, I mean, I, I don't really know exactly what a barbershop scent is, but this to me reminds me of a barbershop, more so than any other soap that I've used, including Cad, Seville, Man of Mafia. This one just is a beautiful scent. It is very light. It's not a super strong scent, but it's a lovely scent. I also love the scent of the moisturising cream, which I'll be using today. It's the exact same as the cream for shaving. I have asked about the aftershave, whether that's the same, and I've heard that it's not. So, let's wet my face. I've just got out of the shower, just got ready to go to work. And then I'm just going to get a good finger's worth of that. Rub it all over and then we'll use the brush to face lather. This technique with putting the, it's not a technique, but this way that I do it, putting the cream on my face first, just seems to work better for creams. Not all creams, but certainly for creams out of a tub, I find it works better than putting it in a bowl now. I feel I've got more control over it for some reason. Right. The brush for today, it's really slick this stuff, is the Samog Owners Club Boja. 50% Badger, 50% Boa, and it's just a beautiful brush. It's slowly breaking in, it's still not there. I'm just going to start painting some of the moisture into the cream. Now from memory, this stuff actually lathers up great. I haven't used this technique before of putting it on my face first. Gonna dip my tips. I obviously hadn't squeezed enough of the water in. But because I've put so much cream on my face, I don't think it's going to make any any difference. The more I use this brush, the less scritch it's got. It's got very, very minimal scritch now, as opposed to when I first got it. Scritch was pretty noticeable. It wasn't super uncomfortable, but very noticeable. So because I'm going with the Chevette, nice thick lather again. And hopefully we won't have any issues with slickness. As you can see the brush. plenty in there, I hope. It feels really heavy. <laughs> Making some mess here. Right, Parasso Chevette. As you can see, wooden handled, or wooden scales, should I say not handled. It's got the Parasso logo there, and it also says, Save the Barber 1993. And it is a really nice Chevette, stainless steel. Pretty expensive for what it is, in my opinion. Right, here we go.
And one thing I'm looking forward to with the actual straight, when I get to that stage, is the buttery smooth. I am always sort of waiting <laughs> for the moment that I slice myself with this. I've got two days growth. Just watched a bit of Steve in the Suffolk Shaver, he's doing the Chevette one at the moment, the one that he's just put up. I've watched the start of it but I haven't got any further than that. Had a few people say that if you're struggling with the left hand, just keep with the right. But I don't think you would, you would ever become proficient with a chevette or a straight if you didn't use both hands. As you can see. The difference between my first shape shape to now, using my left hand, is quite significant. Right, we'll move on to the DE now. I'm still not doing my neck. I just don't feel comfortable doing it. So I've got my Rockwell 6 seat. Still with the Platinum Lux blade in it from last time. Just to do these parts of my neck where it's a little bit worse. And that's it. Right, let's rinse off. I'm just going to enter the sink here because it's pretty dirty. I have got two days growth or a day and a half roughly I think yeah slickness is excellent from Bluebeard's Revenge I have to say really slick just to sort of highlight it a little bit I will just take a stroke I mean that's just gliding over my skin, so that's great. Right, let's get the next lather done. Yeah, there's loads in this brush, absolutely loads. Hand Chevette again from left to right.
There we go. And then I'll finish off with the racer again. Now, I don't think even with a straight, probably more chance with a straight, that I'll ever come back up the way on my neck. But we'll see. The more I shave with the Chevette, the more it becomes more comfortable. And as with all types of shaving, you get better at it. Right. The dip of tips. This should explode again because it feels like there's loads in the brush. I could be wrong. And I would say that I am. So this is a much thinner lather now, so not really what you want to be using a chevette with, but we'll give it a go anyway. Some reason I do sort of I do struggle more coming across the green from right to left with my left hand. Just get close. I do touch up a little bit with my DE in the end, but I'm just going to have one last lather, just for what's left in the brush, which is literally nothing. I'm just going to have a quick scoop over with the DE. I think a lot of this is to do with the fact that I started with a very wet brush, and I think that's hampered me a little bit. Yeah. What I'm really doing here is not really take any more beard reduction. I'm really just checking to see how much the Chevette has taken off and it's taken pretty much everything away. And the Rockwells, if 
you haven't got a rock well in your den, I highly recommend you get one. Or if you're not going to get one, at least try one. They don't, they do now, I do actually like the look of it now that's in my hand. They didn't do anything for me when I seen it in people's shave of the days or videos on YouTube. Just not a nice looking razor, I didn't, I thought the head looked really sort of clunky and But whatever they've done it rock well, they've done it very, very well. Right. It's nice as well. It is a nice cream, I've got to say. Better with a synthetic. I find my lathers are more, much, much more stable with a synthetic brush. It is really hit and miss with me with a natural hairbrush. Humphreys, lavender. I don't know why I'm going with lavender. I just thought I would. I'm not going to use the Allen block, even though I mentioned it in my Seven Deadly Sins, the overweight shaving. I find this Humphreys Allen. It's got a really lovely stringent tip. It's, you can, does it matter how good my shave is, I do generally feel something from Humphreys, a, a slight tingle or a, a very mild burn as it's sort of helping heal the skin. I don't get a reaction from it. I've got a couple of little weepers down here on my neck where I've used the DE and I've got none on my face or my lips or anything where I've used the Chevette. So obviously getting better with it and out of five shaves now I haven't cut myself which for me I'm very very surprised by I thought I would at least get a cut per shave. Especially on the harder parts as you're coming around the neck and the jawline and things like that. But nothing. I mean, I just it, Yes, it's nice to be using something different. It does sort of spice the den up a little bit and the shaves up a little bit. But at this stage, uh, five shaves in, I still. It's not something I'd recommend to someone. I know that sounds crazy and there's people out there that love Chevette's and I'm not trying to sort of have a go at it but it's just, it's not my sort of thing so I'm not, it's not something I'm going to, I'm passionate about that I want to actually try and get people to try but after 30 shaves I might love this thing and that's the sort of, the reason why I want to give it 30 shaves just to see how it goes Right, so that's that. Let's try again. So the shaving cream was Bluebeard Revenge. Oh, it smells great, it really does. The brush was the Simulg Bonus Club Boja, 50% bow, 50% badger. And it is a beautiful knot now. It's really starting to display out. The ends are starting to split on the bow hairs. You can see the the tips on the on the badger hairs starting to hook slightly. It really is turning into a beautiful looking knot. And it's got a lovely sized handle, it's very ergonomic, feels great, it's got good weight. It's just a cracking, cracking brush. It really is. The Chevette today was the Parasso, it's the only Chevette I own. But it does a job. It's a very well built Chevette, I have to say. I don't I've never held a, a different type of Chevette. But it's very well built, stainless steel, holds the blade solid, it holds the blade perfectly straight along here as well, it doesn't show much of the blade. I don't know whether you can actually see it. But yeah, it's just a lovely, lovely little chevette. I mean, it does look very straight razor. Yeah, and the uh, DE razor was the Rockwell 6C. And it's a beautiful, smooth razor, it really is. I had the Platinum Lux blade in there from Rapira, and it's the second use on it, but it's not done much shaving. So it's, it's still very, very smooth. And we then finished off with Humphreys Lavender. And I'm now gonna finish off with some Bluebeard Revenge Post Shave Cooling Moisturizer. I find with this stuff you don't need a lot. I'll be absolutely loads. Now Stephen Suffolk Shaver actually brought up a question of does the the weather over here affect my skin. 
in terms of, I'm assuming you're talking in terms of hot and cold and dry skin and moisturised skin and things like that. It doesn't really, it's the coldest it ever really gets here is around about 5 degrees Celsius. And every now and then it'll drop below, but that'll be like 1 o'clock in the morning and very rarely out in that, unless when I was in the police on night shift I would be out in that sort of weather. But it never really gets that bad where the cold starts affecting your skin. I find in the warmer weather it can dry your skin out a little bit, but I have always, even prior to traditional wet shaving, always used moisturisers and now my moisturisers have moved on to Artisan so they're much better for your skin. In fact, there's not really anything bad about them for your skin. And I've noticed a massive difference over this summer in the quality of my skin compared to previous summers using things like Nivea, uh, Nivea Everyday Men or whatever it's called and other moisturisers which are mass produced and have things in them that aren't sometimes that great for you really. So I have noticed a difference. I mean, even this, this is good stuff. It feels incredible, it feels moisturised. And yeah, I've never really had any problems with my skin over here, fortunately. And we do have a sort of, it's not humid weather, but it is, it's, ne it's never really dry. So you've always got a bit of moisture in the air. You've never got that really dry cold or really dry hot weather. It's just, but it's always got a bit of moisture in the air, which is great for your skin as well, I suppose. And because I'm right next to the ocean, most of the air that I get is, uh, will have some sort of salt content in there. So it's, even then salt is actually not in high doses, but it's pretty good for your skin. So other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did enjoy that much more than I did my last year with the two days growth. It was a little bit nicer to cut through a little bit longer here. And that feels incredible. So you guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And Spence, Ken and Steve, don't mind, don't forget to do your seven deadly sins shave or then thing, whatever it's called. <laughs> Post it online as well on Shave the Man because you might end up winning the competition. Catch you guys next time. Cheers. Yeah.